Hello and welcome back to another update from Polestar Driver. As you know we are collecting real world data from Polestar 2 drivers and from that we calculate the Polestar Driver real world range PDRW. So as we're in the middle of the month here's a quick weekly update on where we are so far. Here you can see the progress that we've been making so in March we've had 68 submissions so far and I'm sure we're going to exceed the 85 that we achieved in February. So thank you very much to all those who have been submitting their data. Here we can see the top three submitters for March so far. This is as of the 19th of March and we have Polestar Warrior in first place with 22 trips and the equivalent of 750 miles. Uh, Polestar Driver in second place, eight trips with 507 miles, and Ottima with six trips and 172 miles in third place. If you want to get yourself onto the leaderboard there in the top three, continue submitting your trips, and each week we will update with the top three for that month. So let's take a look at PDRW. So in March so far, you can see that the average um, from the trip submitted is 219 miles range or 354 kilometers. This has increased from February, which was 195 miles, to 219 in March. So we can see as the weather is getting warmer, uh, the numbers are getting better. On the right hand side, you can see the average across all 192 entries so far is 205 miles or 330 kilometers which is equivalent of 70.2% of the quoted WLTP range, which is 292 miles. What does that range translate into? We can see here for March, uh, this, uh, the consumption numbers translates to 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour or 4.7 kilometers per kilowatt hour. As you can see, it, it's increased from 2.6 in February to 2.9 in March. And I'm expecting April, May, June, July, August to all be above 3. Overall, total so far for all entries submitted is 2.7 miles or 4.4 kilometers per kilowatt hour. This week, I thought we'd look at the preheating information that we have. So you can see from this chart here that in March we have 35.5 kilowatt hours per 100 miles with no preheating and then 33.3 kilowatt hours per 100 miles with preheating. So that's, uh, that's what we would expect in the colder temperatures. But as the temperatures get warmer then how do we know what the crossover point is? So what should the temperature be before we don't need to worry about preheating? So if we look on this next slide, I've broken down the preheating information by the different temperature ranges. So top left we have minus 9 to 0 degrees C, so anything below freezing. Uh, top right we have 1 to 10 degrees C, Bottom left, 11 to 20 degrees C, and bottom right, 21 to 30 degrees C. So as you would expect, less than freezing and up to 10 degrees Celsius, if you did not preheat your car, then your consumption is worse than if you did preheat it. And in the top right block, the 1 to 10 degrees thing, you can see the difference there is nearly 4 kilowatt hours. And that's based on a good sample of data, so 97 trips where there was no preheating and 29 trips where there was preheating. However, when you get to the next range, 11 to 20 degrees C, you see the numbers have flipped. So over here, those who didn't preheat their car um, came out with an average of 34 kilowatt hours per 100 miles, and that's also off 34 trips. And then the two trips that did preheat in this temperature range came out at 40.9. So 
So looking at this data, I would say that above 10 degrees, you're wasting energy if you preheat your car. If you think differently, let me know in the comments below. I had a question this week on Facebook about wheel size and does it really affect uh, the consumption of the car? And if you look at the bottom right hand corner, so this is covering 177 trips where the wheel information was submitted. You can clearly see the 19 inch standard wheel at 37.1 kilowatt hours per 100 miles. Then uh, the 20 inch standard at 42.3 and the 20 inch performance tire at 42.9. So from that you can definitely see that there is a difference between the 19 inch and the 20 inch wheels. As usual the last slide here just lists the top 20 submitters for March. Uh, we have 23 contributors, 68 entries covering 3826 miles. If you've submitted one or more trips see if you can find your name in the list there and you'll see your own numbers. If you're new to this channel and uh, you're wondering where we get these numbers from then take a look at polestardriver.com and join in by submitting your trip. The more real world data we collect the better information we'll get. That's it for this week another short update. Uh, we will do a full review of all the numbers in the first week of the next month but for now thanks for watching. If you like these videos please give it a big thumbs up to help us get it out to more people and if you haven't yet done so please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get advised of new videos when they're released. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again soon.